Abdul and Chang are standing 40 feet, 48 feet apart in a field. So you got Abdul here, and we got Chang here. Barak is standing in the same field as far from Abdul as possible, so that the angle formed by the lines of sight to Abdul and Chang is 60 degrees. Let's just move it down. We have, let's see, we have a line here. Oops, you know, let's move Chang down just a little. Because we're just making a horizontal just for simplicity. It doesn't really matter. So Bharat, we, let's say just pick a random position right here. I don't know, let's say we picked here, right? Or maybe, let's say we picked here. We're given that if we draw these two things, the lines of sight, this angle over here has to be 60. We're asked to find the point where Bharat is maximally away from Abdul and Chang. Th that point, what is the square of the distance? Basically, find when B is as far away from A as possible, but it's still 60 degrees. So the first thing you should be like is, okay, we've got many possible choices for B, right? We can have something like here, we can have here, we can have an equilateral triangle, we can have here. There's many possibilities. Is there anything that could possibly represent all the possible locations for B, where the angle is always 120? The key thing to realize, inscribed angle theorem. If this angle is always 60, then let's just say we draw, uh, you know what, maybe let's draw a better circle. So we can say that, obviously I know this diagram is not perfect, perfect, but if we draw this circle and we say that this arc has a 120 degree, is a 120 degree arc, if this is a 120 degree arc, I know it doesn't look like that, but hopefully you just take my word for it here. This, any point here, will satisfy this thing is 60 by inscribed angle theorem. So any point along this circle will give us a 60 degree, or any point from, sorry, from here to here only, because otherwise it becomes 120 if you go here. It becomes 120, because now this arc is 240. So any point from here to here can work. So now, the question is, what is the maximally distant point from A? And the answer is, it's going to be the diametrically opposite point. Because if we have A, the farthest away another point is going to be is if you go along the diameter and we go to this point over here. So, okay, how do we find the radius of this circle? Of this circle that maps out all possible points. The easiest way just consider the equilateral triangle. And let's just erase this because I know this diagram is not the best. So we draw a circle here. Oops, that is not a circle. And we take the equilateral triangle case because it will allow us to do some simple calculations. So of course, this point where all the sides are equal, this is one possibility for B. And of course, anything else here also is a possibility for B. But the point that's maximally away, like we discussed earlier, is if we go to the point diametrically opposite, which is there, which is here. And to do that, it's just two times the radius, right? The diameter length. So how do we find the radius? Well, this is 48. And because the reason we want to consider the equilateral triangle is because we want to somehow find the radius. Now, of course, we can also consider some other random triangle where it's like, I don't know, one, and then you can calculate this length via law of cosines. Equilateral triangle is just the simplest possible thing, right? We have this is also 48, and this is also 48. So it's the simplest possible triangle location of B that could work. And the e result of this is we can easily find the radius of the circumcircle of an equilateral triangle. That's not something we can do easily for other triangles. And how do we do this? Well, our standard trick, right? We draw these radii. This is pretty simple from here, 30, 30, and then this is 120. And now what we do is we drop the altitude, this is 24, and then, right, we have this is 24 root 3, this is 8 root 3, and that means this is 16 root 3. And therefore the diameter is just going to be 32 root 3. So the square of the diameter, which is the maximum distance, is this, 
which is 1024 times 3, 3072. And that's the answer. So the trick for this problem is realizing that the point with maximal distance, well, first realizing that the circle thing, right? Inscribed angle theorem, 60 degrees, it's always going to be on a 120 degree arc. And then we're like, oh, A, let's just go to the opposite point to get the maximum distance. In my opinion, this is actually slightly tricky for number 13, but it's still a great problem. Thanks for watching.